my take on nation building has actually derived from my course at Harvard University. I uh, took a course with Professor Joe Colt and it was called Nation Building 1 and then Nation Building 2, which was the second semester. And the fundamental principles of nation building, so we were taught, were to have um, s social capital, mostly, that is built within the uh, native people and the First Nations people. And it starts with a very important concept of capacity building in institutions. When you have a nation without institutions and strong institutions, it's basically a difficult thing to build. Another concept that Professor uh, Colt emphasized on his trainings were de facto sovereignty. If you don't have the sovereignty, you won't be able to go forward. Every time someone is watching you, someone is asking you to do things, so creating and eventually is uh, striving for a sovereign governance, government, sovereign leadership is key important. And the other one is he was saying anything that you do, it has to be a cultural match, and you have to have the economic freedom. And I took that concept, and for the following 10 years, I went to Africa, and I provided training, starting from parliaments, to anti-corruption commissions, and my last job was on social accountability, which was the one who tied everything together. The concept of social accountability is that public servants, have to realize that it's their duty to provide services and for citizens to also understand that it is their right to ask for services. So with it's that pretense that we have gone you know, through uh, this uh, journey of nation building.